Hello everyone, it's time for Jello Tester. The recipe we're making today is something I've been wanting to try for a while. If you can see my layout here, you may have a suspicion about what it is. It's a rainbow stripe jello mold, yes! Pride flag jello mold. This one is not difficult, but it is time consuming and there is a timing element to it, so it's a little tricky. Basically what we're going to do is make a jello mold with layers of different colored jello. I got a bunch of different flavors. So I have strawberry, orange, lemon, lime, berry blue, and grape. How will they taste together? It doesn't matter. How will they look together? Beautiful. I did a little bit of research before starting this and a lot of the rainbow stripe jello mold recipes include a creamy layer, plain gelatin with sweetened condensed milk, a sour cream based gelatin one of them had. The easiest one I thought was you add a little bit of sour cream or yogurt to half of the jello. So it's creamy, but it has the color in it still, and you don't have to deal with plain gelatin and making a whole separate jello uh, mixture. I decided to go with that one because this one is complicated enough. I am intrigued to see what it looks like without the creamy layer. I've got two jello molds. This one is new. Look at the sharp edges. I'm very excited. I'm going to do one with the colors and the cream layer. And then I'm gonna do another one with just the colors and just see what happens. So essentially what I'm gonna be doing is mixing each box of Jello with a cup and a quarter of boiling water in these glasses, which I've now laid out, ha. Ah. Pouring about a third of it in here, a third of it in here, and then mixing the remaining third with this yogurt to pour in this one, the bigger one, for the creamy layer. Woo! Can we keep it all straight? I think so. Let's give it a try. Okay, <clears throat> folks, we've just experienced what's known in the biz as a jello tester tragedy, a JTT. <laughs> My iPhone was so full of photos and videos that the video stopped recording. So I talked for like 10 minutes about the process of making this rainbow jello mold lost to the winds. Suffice it to say, <laughs> what we are doing is putting these in layers. The red has already been poured and the key for this recipe is patience, which not one of my strong suits, but I'm doing my best. We're all doing our best. I already cried for 45 minutes today, so I feel like I'm good on that. Hopefully this will go fine. I've mixed my orange and yellow. I have more water boiling to mix my green, purple, and blue green, blue, and purple, whatever, it doesn't matter. This is gonna get mixed with yogurt, this red. Each layer kind of has to set for about 15 minutes because you want it to be sort of tacky so there's good adhesion between the layers. If it sets too much, they won't stick together, which isn't always a bad thing, but for this one, because there's so many layers, this is my symbol for layers, I guess. We want them to stick together. So I'll be back with a red layer and then maybe some other layers, but maybe I'll just be back with the rainbow. I don't know. We're all doing our best. I did come back before the rainbow. I'm going to mix these other three colors because I think it's fun to watch the powder change from essentially colorless to a beautiful, bright, synthetic color. So here's one. Lime. Yes. Lime looks good. Let's do blue. Blue. Oh my God, it's so blue. Oh, that smells like, I guess it's just raspberry. That's the whole thing with blue. Is blue, ra it's blue raspberry because they had blue dye and blueberry, I don't know. I don't remember. I did look it up once though. <laughs> Cut to the story of why blue raspberry exists here.
Last but not least, we have a purple flavor, but I hear my timer going off for the red layer, so let's go check it out. The red layer does need a little bit more time, so I put five more minutes on the timer, gonna let that set up a little bit more. Purple stuff. Oops, I'm not pouring from that. I'm pouring from this. Purple. Oh, I thought I was gonna like it. Oh, that's a bad one. I like grape soda and I like grape seltzer. If you've never had grape Waterloo seltzer or blueberry Waterloo seltzer, they are wild. I don't know how they do those flavors. I like Dimatap, the grape liquid children's medicine. I like a grape Tootsie Pop, I guess. I haven't really had a grape flavored thing except seltzer in a long time, but I do like grape. And this does not smell good. I mean, this sounds funny considering what I have in front of me, but it smells really artificial and not in a good way. <laughs> I've never bought grape jello or eaten grape jello. I think the berry blue I probably ate as a kid at like a 4th of July thing. Did it exist when I was a kid? I don't even know. That's another thing to look up. Insert, did berry blue jello exist when I was a child or am I implanting false memories about the 4th of July in my own brain? So now we have our beautiful rainbow. Yes! I'm happy already. We can be done. It's over. From this point forward, it's just layer and set and layer and set and layer and set. So gonna be gonna be doing that for a while we're back we have a soft set red you can see jiggly and it doesn't it's not liquid anymore but when I touch it my finger leaves a little imprint and that's what we're looking for let's recall what I'm doing <laughs> one thing I have to do is mix the yogurt with the red to get our creamy red layer. Jello with protein. Smooth sailing. How warm is this? That's great, that's like room temp. The recipe that I looked at suggested that you don't just pour it, you gently spoon it onto the previous layer so it's not too disruptive to the jello that's already there. Oh God, that didn't work. Great, it sort of worked. This might be a little too warm to put on this one. Oh, the timing of this is truly wild. So I'm gonna let this cool a little bit more before I add it to this red layer, but the cream layer has to set. So I'm gonna put it all back in the fridge I'm gonna be real with you, I'm not gonna come back and do all these layers in front of the camera. I'm just gonna take this all in the kitchen and do it in there. We'll come back when it's a rainbow and you'll see that because, oh boy, I got a, a weird couple hours ahead of me. <laughs> You're welcome. It's time for the reveal of the rainbow jello. Now it did take a while to do this. My kitchen counter was just covered in cups full of colored jello, but we got it done. As a reminder, we have completely clear, no creamy layers. This is all six colors that I did. With the other one, with the creamy layers, I was going to say I miscalculated, but that's not true. I didn't calculate anything. I just went ahead and did it without thinking about how volume works. So what we ended up with one warm color jello mold, cool color jello mold. We got a lot to unmold. Fortunately, I have my system down pretty well, so let's see how they all look. This one is the totally clear one. Here we go. Oh God. I think the water I use is too hot. It really melted the outside layer. The melted jello went everywhere, but it's okay. Ooh, can you see it? Let me turn up our, my ring light. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, this is hard to photograph. There is a gradient happening. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> there is not 
clear demarcations between the different layers, but it is quite pretty and it is quite drippy. I think what we learned there is that the water you use to <laughs> unmold the jello, help the jello get out of the mold, can't be too hot because <laughs> if it's too hot, it will melt and then there'll be so much liquid. Cross your fingers for not so much splashing. <laughs> Hello, little friend. It wants to come out. Yes. <gasps> it's so beautiful. <gasps> Look at it. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. I love this new mold. I love these stripes. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. What? Oh, I'm so happy. Wow. And we have one more. All right, cool colors coming up. Yes, <laughs> look at it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what happened? Oh, it's just a little. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Just imagine if I had done the, any calculations at all and gotten this all in the same mold. How impressive would that have been? <laughs> Obviously because of the way that I put everything together. The clear layers take up less volume than the creamy layers because the creamy layers are just the same amount of jello as in the clear layers plus a couple tablespoons of yogurt. I think if I were to really want to like knock this out of the park, I would first of all ensure that I was using a large enough jello mold. <laughs> Second of all, ensure that each layer would be approximately even. I actually think it's more impressive if the clear layers are thicker, although I don't know, it looks so good. So pretty. Oh my God. This new mold, what a dream. I think I got it at Value Village for like $3. <laughs> yes. The jiggle. This is like legitimately the first time I have not wanted to cut into it because it's too beautiful. But needs must, needs must. Here we go. Oh, look at the stripes. Mm. It's a good combo strawberry orange lemon the lemon's a little tart the strawberry's a little sweet it's great and the creaminess calms it down a little bit if you made this with sweetened condensed milk it would be uh, so sweet this is just sort of like casual sweet just like casual sweet i i just i can't stop Beautiful bite. It's mostly the grape, which does taste a little better than it smelled, but it's pretty much just grape. The grape is very overpowering. I think I like the other one better, taste-wise. This one's so pretty. Da-da-da-da. Whoa, <laughs> this one is a jiggler. <laughs> Look at all the colors. This tastes like nothing. It's too many flavors. <laughs> it's stunning, but it absolutely tastes like nothing. <laughs> 
not a total success because I did not manage to get the entire rainbow in a single mold with the creamy layers, but very much a success, I will say. If you're going to try this ever, which honestly, once we're back doing like stuff where we go to other people's houses and bring food, I could see myself bringing this because it's very impressive just to look at, especially if you like unmold it at the party and everybody's like, what? I think there were a couple of times when I put the next layer on too quickly and broke through a little bit. The technique of spooning the next layer on instead of just pouring it, definitely, definitely worth it because it goes on very gently. Does it taste good? It might taste crazy. But does it look beautiful? Yes. Is that what we care about? Yes. I'm so sweaty. <laughs>